nearly everyone, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hello, mate. How are you? Okay, great. I think I think most people, I think we're missing Shiny still. That's the only name that I remember seeing was here, who's not quite here yet. But I think nearly everyone else is here. Great. Okay, let's get started then. Um, just as a reminder for everyone, if you want to take another look at the article that we were having a look at on Tuesday, the article is still pinned in the LEN members group. So if you click on the pen at uh, the pen, the pin at the top of the the text channel for LEN members, you should be able to see the the article. It should still be there. Okay. Okay. So today we're going to be talking more about the article we read in the last session, which was talking about the Spanish siesta. But who'd like to tell us all a little bit about what that article was talking about, maybe some of the things that you remember from it? Artem, go ahead. <laughs> So we was reading about the siesta is just a short nap, uh, which uh, workers uh, take during the working day. It's uh, usually between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. It depends on uh, of season of, uh, of season. Is it uh, winter or it's summer? If it's uh, winter, uh, the siesta is uh, 30 wings. People take uh, early if it's uh, uh, winter, they take it a little bit later. So, this uh, whole article has been uh, devoted to this. Uh, is it useful for, for people or not? And uh, we, did, we read and discussed about it. And uh, some, uh, some people who, uh, um, there has been made a few surveys uh, 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 to know is it useful or not. It helps people to refresh their uh, ability to uh, proceed to work. And a uh, few, even a few programmers have written a few, a few apps to, to make sure, for example, if a person go to sleep, of uh, average uh, amount of time to recover physical ability is about uh, eight of eight hours, and uh, and these special apps will record uh, and scan your body. For example, is uh, uh, have you did you recover or not? Uh, are you ready to to get start to work again or not? If you are not, you will keep sleep. Or you can uh, set the special time, how much, no, it's just usual alarm. But that uh, special arms just uh, more efficient, I think. And uh, what else I remember that the uh, average amount of hours uh, that people sleep, it's about seven, seven o'clock in uh, Spain and USA, according to those. Uh, Recent survey. What else? What else? But the words. <laughs> what else? What else? Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, great. Who else can add um, anything else to what Adam said? Any other details that you remember? Anything else that was interesting? Are you talking to me? I'm talking to everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Would you like to answer the question? Was there something interesting that you remember from the article? Um. If not, no problem. Luca, would you like to add something? 
Yes, just uh, one little. But I, I don't rem- I don't remember uh, if uh, who, who was that uh, that spoke. Okay, but anyway, uh, Spanish spent a lot uh, more time than uh, any other uh, in uh, European countries on the work. Uh, and uh, another detail important for me because I'm uh, I'm Italian is that uh, the term siesta uh, is as an, an origin by, by <laughs> copyright. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly copyright. Yes, as a, an Italian origin. I didn't know this, uh, but is is curious. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Actually, that's an interesting question for everyone. Did anyone know or had anyone heard before that um, the siesta actually comes from Italy and not from Spain? Not really, actually. I didn't know where it came from. I associate siesta all the time with uh, countries in the south where it's hot. So I know that it's, for me it was a Spanish word, and but I don't link siesta to Spanish country to Spain only. Actually, for me the siesta is in south of France, Spain, Italy, Greece, everywhere where where it's hot between in in the early early afternoon, day and uh, and three p.m. Okay, so. Does anyone here have a siesta, like as a normal thing, or is a siesta a, a normal for for anyone here? Do you have siesta in your country? <laughs> no, no one. <laughs> Saral, is it Saral or is it Sarah? Uh, my name is Sarah, but I got uh, uh, L because uh, there is uh, another person listed by Sarah. Wow, oh, okay, no problem. I'll remember that it's Sarah. Okay. Uh, here in our country, we need so, to take uh, a siesta or not uh, after work, uh, and especially students, they need that. Because uh, here it's very hot uh, when you back to your homes, you need to take a nap, then you wake up to study and complete your life. And uh, the day here it's uh, end um, at 12 uh, p.m. Or, no, not p.m. a.m. It's uh, a long day. You need to take uh, an app uh, to complete your days. On day? What do you mean? Okay. What time do you go to bed? Uh, 12 a.m. or maybe 1 a.m. Our day is long. Uh, and what time six. do you wake Six. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just a two if you're wearing your in your country. <laughs> I would need one. <laughs> okay, Maybe does anyone else? To... Sorry. Uh, okay, just uh, just that one. Sorry, Sarah. Adam? I tried to, uh, sometimes to. To develop, <laughs> to develop uh, ability to fall asleep during the day, but uh, I haven't managed, unfortunately, <laughs> I would like to. But my brother, yeah, uh, he sleeps during the day a lot, but he just can sit in a chair and just to doze off an hour. It's so easy, but I, I would just move around so long and just no no it's not for me uh it's too, you are point. too young it's 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 a stuff it's something for all these i think <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just talking to him sometimes. Uh, uh, something tell him some story. At some point, uh, I, uh, I didn't realize that he already fell asleep. <laughs> Actually, uh, so quickly. Uh, okay. Who else? Who else here falls asleep, or who else can fall asleep in the middle of the day? Zom. Yeah, I can fall asleep in the middle of the day very easily, actually, especially when I'm bored. And uh, when I'm bored and when I'm at the office, I've got nothing to do. And after lunch, especially a French lunch, a French uh, business lunch. <laughs> so usually we just go, there is no nobody at the desk. Um, we go somewhere else. People don't know where we are exactly. And uh, usually we try to find a spot where where we will be quiet and we will come back just uh, 45 minutes later or one hour later and uh, it's accepted <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a siesta <laughs> and anyway i think i don't know what you think guys but the siesta it's like the um, healthy food of nowadays it's back into fashion so I think it's going to be back in any countries anywhere in Europe because everybody is saying that we live a hectic, we have hectic days, we jump from one thing to the other and so on. And so <laughs> we need to pause at times. So I think it's going back on into fashion, the siesta. <laughs> Definitely. So who else either takes a siesta or maybe who would like to who would like to have a siesta during the middle of your day? Is there anyone who'd like to add this into your work day? A, a little bit of a break to, to rest, to sleep? I'm not very good at sleeping during the day unless I'm sick. So siestas don't work so well for me, but maybe they'd be good. Adam? I just remember that uh, uh, one thing from the article that uh, uh, people have been often two hours during the day before. Usually the work is uh, being started at 8 a.m. and uh, the, uh, the siesta is start from 1 to 3 and uh, from 3 to 8 they start to work again. And uh, uh, some research company have made the survey uh, about that. And uh, the majority of people have said that they would like to have uh, a break only one hour and go to home, uh, go at home on, uh, on one hour later, not eight or seven o'clock. So. I prefer to go back home earlier than to yeah. take a nap. Yeah, I think it's much more better. <laughs> well, you can cheat actually because uh, you know you have to be at the office. And uh, what I used to do uh, uh, is in the calendar I had, I was uh, taking one hour, seeing in the public calendar, in my calendar, that my manager could see that I was busy. And uh, I just uh, booked uh, a meeting room. <laughs> I went to well most of the time that was uh, that was cheating not to, to have a nap but to be able to attend uh, one of the English sessions in the past <laughs> but it could work for, for taking a nap <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah it works it works very fine well in France it works anyway <laughs> and and I was living at the same time uh, not uh, later <laughs> no way I'm French <laughs> Okay, well, some people are being very quiet today. What does everyone else think? Would you take a nap in the middle of your day or would you prefer to go home an hour earlier if you had the choice? What would you do? Luca. So, uh, I, dep I, I think that uh, it depends uh, about the work that uh, you are doing. Uh, in my case, uh, if I have to, to do a lot of work in the in the afternoon, it's difficult for me to uh, have a break for a, for a also for a short uh, sleep. I prefer to finish the work, to finish my work day, and then, and then when I go back to, 
to a home or, I, or to the hotel uh, to have a siesta, uh, half an hour or for uh, an hour uh, as well, but uh, after the, the work day. Oh, so you're very uh, professional. I have, I have the, <laughs> uh, the brain empty at the end of my work day. So it, it, it's, it's easily to, to have a break. Empty, come on. Okay, who else? Everyone's very quiet today. Would you prefer to finish work earlier or to, to have time to have a nap in the middle of the day? Which one would you prefer? <laughs> Artem. I would love to have a choice. This is uh, not to work at all. <laughs> I think it would be the best choice. Is, could you create for me the set? <laughs> yeah, why not? You can add in other choices if you want. Sure. So uh, I'm in favor of first choice. Okay, well, maybe we should change the, the topic a little bit. Let's talk about one of the other points that they were talking about in the article when they were talking about um, presentismo a word in Spanish, or presenteeism in English, where they were talking about the fact that it's a big problem in Spain that people go to work and stay there for a very long time, but they're not really working for all the time that they're there. They're, they just spend a lot of time, they just stay a long time at work to try to show their bosses that they've got a lot of work to do, that they're very busy, that they're doing a lot of things. But actually, most of the time, they're doing nothing. It's just for appearances. What do you think about this? Do you think this happens in other places as well? Have you seen this, like in your work, that people are working really long hours, but they're not actually doing much work while they're there? Luca. Yes, in my work, uh, I have to stay out of home from uh, Monday to Tuesday. And uh, on Friday, uh, usually we have the, the office day. But uh, we also can work with uh, our PC uh, from our home. So I think uh, it's not necessary to go to the office. But our, our boss, uh, anyway want this because uh, he want that uh, we make a, a, we, we make the team we have a, a collaboration uh, between colleagues so he prefer uh, the office work also if uh, we can uh, we we can work uh, from our homes okay so it's not so much a problem there because people can work from home and and you can see the other work that people are doing um, because it's all linked to everybody else's work. So there's really no, there's no good reason or no way to do this then. Zom? Oh, uh, dub first. <laughs> Let's dub talk it first. No, 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 ladies first. <laughs> um, I, actually, I don't understand how this can work. If they are your managers, uh, you probably have uh, some work to do for the week with a deadline or whatsoever. So if you stay and the work is not done, it's uh, you can't cheat very long. Uh, it's very clear that uh, you are just here uh, for nothing. So I don't see the point of, uh, of this. There is only one case I can understand that it works because it works uh, in my company. It's when you work for a customer and you have to go to the customer place and your company is asking you uh, to, to stay over there, nothing to do or nothing to do because uh, it's how the company gets the money. And, but this is a different matter. But if you work for your own company, you know, uh, your manager, unless they do the same thing themselves, this is not sustainable. Nothing is gaining, is winning anything on that. And uh, you get frustrated, you get bored, you get 
you lose motivations. Or for me, it can't work in, in the long run. It's just a waste of time for everybody and especially for the company itself. But uh, this sounds very weird to me. Yeah, I think it's kind of the opposite that the way you were thinking about it. The people are doing all the work that they're supposed to be doing. So nothing's, everything is getting done that should be getting done. But instead of the people saying it takes them, for example, five hours to do that task, they're saying that it takes eight hours. Um, yeah, so they stay later at work. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they stay later at work. So it looks like they're working really, really hard, that they're really busy and that they've got a lot of things to do. And they look like a very good employee because they're staying later to get everything finished, even though so, they're not really doing anything. So it means if among them, there is only one person who is saying, oh, it's done. I go. It's time. It's 6 p.m. I've done my job. And the other one say, no, you can't say it. You can't say that. You can't say that. You are going to fuck it up for everybody. Stay out until 8 p.m. Yes, it exactly. Mean that everybody... uh, that company. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move to Spain. <laughs> uh, <don't> well, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I just uh, want to say that uh, in Russia, it's impossible just to pretend and you don't work because you will be fired in a few days easily because there is just a minimum wage. It doesn't mean that uh, you can have some higher uh, state or status at some company and you will receive much more, uh, much more uh, some fixed amount of money, minimum wage, and, right? So you in the the biggest part of the salary depends on uh, uh, what kind of work and, uh, you have uh, finished according to your achievement. If you haven't done anything, if you produce some kind of product or, or uh, anything else, you have to show the results of your work at the every day of, of, uh, of your work. So it's just impossible to pretend that you don't work just to hang out to, I don't know, what you can you do there instead of work. And actually, nowadays we have a special uh, organization, a security organization, which uh, uh, enlists uh, uh, every person who behave uh, not uh, not good at previous work. He have to, he will be enlisted on this uh, list, and every company will have this name of this person and all his history, what he did in the past. And uh, no one is going to hire him in future, unfortunately. No, it's uh, it's all. Uh, employee so nutritious nowadays wow it, that's quite strict then that's going to mm -hmm. uh, probably affect a lot of people and yeah, it's definitely. yeah might not be so fair as well maybe someone had a problem when they were doing when they were employed by a certain company and so they couldn't you know they had problems where they couldn't arrive on time or they had problems with something it doesn't mean that they're always like that so wow that's that's going to be really difficult for people then i wonder if they'll keep doing that or they'll decide after a while well it's maybe not such a good idea yes it's, it exists about uh, five years around that amount of time i think i have a few acquaintances uh, who is being enlisted in this this specialist and uh, they are they are so disappointed. They they has uh, good education, but they destroyed uh, their reputation, and no one wanted to hire them anymore. Unfortunately, but yeah, wow, other, that's really difficult. All other people who, who nowadays are aware, they just uh, hold their jobs so desperately that they just uh, won't be able to find. And uh, employees feel themselves so free and treat them just like a piece of something. 
And uh, it's, I think, it's just uh, what has uh, the system still the same. It just uh, is being served in uh, a different way. It's not so easy, not so easy just to uh, leave your job, why you have to leave your job, and so on. It depends, of course, uh, which kind of uh, possession do you have, occupation do you have, actually. Yeah, and actually that might make a difference as well about this fact about uh, whether you can do this um, present uh, presenteeism as well about whether you can kind of do this thing where you pre pretend that you're working when when maybe you're not working a few people here have said actually that it might depend on, on what the job actually is that it might be possible in some jobs but but not on others yeah. Zom? well I think there is something else as well I think um, in some countries you are not allowed to leave before your manager leaves so even if you've got nothing to do and everybody, even the managers know you've got nothing to do, and there is kind of etiquette and you have to, to wait for the, for the boss to leave the office before being able to leave. So that's a different game here. <laughs> Which does not exist in France, but Shani, maybe you can tell us about that because I think in Japan, in many companies, you, you will have to stay um, at the office if your boss is still there working. Am I right? Or is someone was uh, talking crap? <laughs> okay. Well, um, when I was in, in, in Australia, um, I met uh, a Japanese uh, architect uh, over there, and uh, but her to another country, so she moved with her parents, but she decided to go back to Japan for for working there, and she joined a company on an architect project, and she told me that uh, actually she didn't like it at all, because even at the end of the day, at the end of the work day, they were not allowed to leave until the boss. Uh, themselves uh, we are leaving the office. I think it's very, very strange. And I don't know what is at stake here because it's not about the work. It's not about the company. It's just uh, a hierarchy rule. This is, uh, this is strange. I don't know if it's only in Japan or there are other countries like that. Oh, I know. Um, I used to work for a company where on Friday, I afternoons they had a kind of like a happy hour for everybody in the company that was the last hour of the day on Friday so on Fridays you could choose to go there and have they had usually had some food there and some drinks and you could go there and just talk with other people basically it wasn't anything company related or work related however you're you only had two options you could either go to this little party in the afternoon or you could stay at your desk and work. You weren't allowed to leave work earlier if you didn't want to go to the party. Ah! <laughs> and the, <laughs> the CEO of the company, actually he had his secretaries. Um, he made them stand at the windows overlooking the car park and the front entryway of the building. Um, and if anybody left before five o'clock, right on the dot, if anybody left even five minutes before five o'clock, on Monday morning they would have an email telling them to to go and see the, the big boss because they weren't allowed to leave early on Friday afternoons. So there's something very strange. You're not that you're not working. You either have to, you know, go and socialize and eat food or you have to keep working, but you're not allowed to eat you're not allowed to leave work early. It's very, very strange. It was a very strange rule. Because <laughs> it doesn't Does anybody have, else have, yeah. It doesn't have the cohesion. It doesn't have the cohesion between people. It's just uh, showing know. obedience. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, in my case, if I had to do that, it would not create any bonds with the other. I will just wait until, like, like going to school and waiting for, for the bell to ring. Yes, that's that was exactly what it was. Everybody, as soon as the clock ticked over in five, everybody would go, okay, great, now we can go home. 
<laughs> Has anyone else had any strange rules like that at that work at their work? Atom? Something similar. Uh, one coincidence is uh, working for some company, and uh, before the New Year, they usually uh, uh, on the New Year they usually celebrate that uh, uh, that uh, day together, and they usually uh, they have to contribute, for example, some uh, uh, certain amount of money, Tom to buy some something and so if you don't <laughs> if you don't want to go there to celebrate with them you have to uh, contribute <laughs> money in, anyway <laughs> and the amount was so huge and she just was so disappointed because she wanted to go and, and to celebrate the day with uh, different people. That's pity, I think. That's it. Okay, Sarah? Um, it's not uh, something strange. Um, but uh, I want to add uh, um, something about why they still um, and work uh, for long hours in, in their work. Uh, my brother, uh, he's uh, work with uh, a different uh, company from other uh, country. And uh, they start their day uh, not at uh, the same time of uh, us. And uh, he uh, works from 8 a.m. here in our country. And uh, in another country, they don't uh, start uh, their work. Uh, and uh, he has, uh, he have to, he has to still until they finish their work. Um, and uh, he back to home at uh, eight uh, p.m. So twelve hour of working. Um, but. Uh, uh, Actually, his work is from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. But uh, he uh, have to still at uh, work until they finish with the uh, uh, other company. No, wow, that makes it a really long work day then. Yes. A really long day, wow. And does he actually work for those extra four hours or is he just available in case they message him or they call him? Uh, no, he stay at uh, work and they give him the, for this extra four hours. Ah, so they pay him for that extra time? Yes. Wow, it's still a very long work day though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, his weekend just one day, it's Friday. Oh no, <laughs> he, he's not lucky at all with his work. <laughs> yes. Okay, Roro? Uh, yes, uh, I want to add something. Uh, I know something about uh, Chinese companies. I think uh, Chinese companies, they uh, have that option. Uh, they give uh, two or three hours in the middle of the day for their employees. And uh, that in that time you can do what you want, play games, sleeping, go outside uh, uh, your company. But most of cool. people, yes, that is good. Uh, they take that time for sleeping, three or two hours for sleeping, and they uh, complete their days. Wow, and are there spaces there for people to, to sleep, like near their work, or do people usually go home during this time to, to sleep? Yes, they have uh, rooms for take rest and everything. They have uh, flexibility, uh, uh, flexibility, yes? Yeah, flexibility. Yes. 
Oh, that sounds like a really nice place to work then. Has anyone else heard of places like that as well that, that give you that much flexibility to, to choose what you do? Zong? Well, what I've seen recently is not about flexibility, but um, in uh, more and more companies here in France, there is uh, a room with um, to play ping pong or to play, uh, I don't know what it's called in English, baby foot, uh, like football on the table or stuff like this. So they set up a room especially for, for people to, when they want to have a break, to change their mind and to do some activity that are, that's, that's different from their, uh, from the routine, work routine. And uh, here too, it's kind of fashion because the last uh, four companies have been two. Uh, it's uh, this specific room is there and you even have got, um, uh, some cushions, uh, some sofas, stuff like that. So something really unusual that we were not seeing in, in traditionally in, in companies in, in, in France that have got this kind of settings. So that's fun. And the funny part is that people are not used to it. And so people hardly use them. They are shy. So <laughs> it's a little bit weird. <laughs> so they have all these great things to use, but nobody's using them. <laughs> it's uh, it started only two years ago. This kind of uh, of of settings, and um, but people are a little bit afraid of using them because they don't know if it's a. Tra I think they don't know if it's a trap or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny to see. <laughs> I'd be worried that it was a trap, that they were just seeing who would fall for it. <laughs> it's a trap. I think to have a gym and you're good to go to the gym during your, your break, it sounds very unusual and very strange for me because usually you just get exhausted after some exercises, isn't it? It's impossible to get back to work. And, uh, and to prefer the same for, uh, quality of work. Is it? What do you think? Maybe. What does everyone think? Maybe it depends on, on what you've actually done at the gym. Like what kind of exercising you've done or, or how hard you've worked at the gym. But I don't know. Do you agree with Adam? Do you think that it's difficult to work after going to the gym? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, actually, uh, Artem, I think that most for most of us, the workload a day, uh, in most case, for most of us, not every one of us, but for many of us, uh, especially on um, on entry level jobs or medium jobs or something that is pretty repetitive do and you will have finished it in in three four five hours so you still have uh, three hours to go having nothing to do even if you don't want to to do extra hours or whatsoever so going to the gym reading a book uh playing something else taking a nap actually could really help to go through the day. If you are exhausted after the gym, maybe it's, it could be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Luca? Yes, thanks. Uh, I think that uh, an activity is important, but uh, uh, not, uh, not uh, in the gym, but uh, maybe it's better to have a run, for example, if you start uh, in the morning uh, by having a run, uh, and uh, at the end of uh, of this, uh, you can you go to work. I think you you can uh, you can uh, go for uh, your uh, work day in a, in a better way because uh, day outside uh, can. Um, improve can uh, increase the, the production 
of uh, endorphin and this uh, is better if you if you want to to have a positive day uh, in the work and also with your colleagues i think the there is also a study about this but maybe in the gym uh, is uh, is not the same thing because you are inside Ah, so it might not be as relaxing as it would be if you yeah, if yes. you went outside and did some exercise. I think that the the wind, uh, the the hair is uh, is the best thing. So you think it's better to get some some fresh air and light, and not just go from straight from work yeah. to the gym back to work again. <laughs> yeah, just uh, to have an activity outside uh, at the, when you start uh, your your day at the in the morning. So uh, the difficult thing is <laughs> to uh, to be to be cost, constant in this uh, because we have to wake up uh, one hour uh, before and we have to go for a run. Uh, it's difficult for me. Yes, difficult for me too. I think difficult for a lot of people. Adam. Uh, how, uh, Natasha, how did you highlight it? my name? It's uh, look. Unusual. If you type the at sing symbol and then you start typing a name, it will appear a little box and you can tag people. And then they, they'll get a notification that somebody sent them a message. Which symbol? The at symbol, like you use in email addresses. Oops. I don't know if I can just send the symbol. No, it won't let me send the symbol by itself. Okay. Yes, thank you, Zom. He won't let me just type that. It keeps coming up with people's names when I try to do that. Okay. It's a space. You type it with a space in. Ah, that's it. okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Shiny, can you tell us more about this nap that people take on their desks? Weren't you saying that it's very common for people to, to take a nap at their desk? Can you tell us more about it? During the uh, break, they just turn off the light and for letting you take a nap. So they actually turn the the, the light off. They know that people are going to take a nap. It's it's okay to take a nap. You no, know, you, you can you can choose to take a nap or not, but they they just turn off the light. Okay, and that happens in schools or in workplaces or where does it happen? Everywhere, office, school. If you don't sleep at school, they'll like punish you. Wow, so they think sleep is really important then. Yes, because you have to, if, if you don't take a nap, how do you go on the, the, the last, the, the, the rest day? How do you do it? How do you save your energy? How do you finish your work or survive the, the long night, right? I mean, it's, it's, if... It's... Keep going. Oh, oh, I mean, I mean, when you become a habit, you just think it's necessary, it's take it for granted. And you, you, you never doubt it. I think um, Zom and Adam were asking you a question as well, Shiny, about what the punishment is that people will receive at school if they don't take a nap. How, how are they punished? It depends the teacher. So maybe the the teacher will uh, let you stand stand uh, stand beside the door, 
than outside the classroom. That kind of punishment. Or, or plan that you are you are you. And everyone can take a bring take pillow at school. Bring what? their what? pillow. Bring their pillow or a blanket in school. Pillow. Wow, so you could get really comfortable then at your desk to to sleep. You could make your, your desk a, a really nice comfortable place. This is that sounds actually pretty good. I wish I'd been allowed to, to take naps at school. <laughs> the Dom, you said that you used to get punished as well if you didn't sleep in the afternoon. How old were you? Uh, when I was a child, I think when I am five years old, when I'm not sleeping in afternoon, then my mom will not prepare me as not one way and Ah, so she didn't. You didn't get your afternoon snap. Uh, sorry, your afternoon <laughs> snack then. If you didn't wake up, yeah. if you didn't go to yes. sleep, I mean. Yes. 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 <laughs> So did you sleep most of the time or did you miss out on a lot of afternoon snacks? Yeah, of course. I will do take an afternoon sleep to take my snack for me and that. Yes, that's probably very good um, motivation to make sure that you're taking that nap in the afternoon. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you think then that we, as adults, we should be allowed to, to take naps at work? Do you think this would be something that would make you work better or maybe be more productive at work? Artem? I think the best way to have a choice, if you wanted to sleep, for example, you would, it would be cool if you would uh, have the possibility to get sleep and, and to be refreshed in a few hours and go back to work. It would be cool for some people. But some people want to go home a little bit early. I think the best way to have a choice. I think every, in every aspect to have a choice is the best decision. Isn't it? Yeah, maybe to have some flexibility in your job so you can choose what works best for you. Sarah? Um, it takes an hour, but uh, I think it's easy for all if they have to back to their home to take the nap. Um, uh, they will spend a long time for back to home, eat their hour lunch, and then uh, sleep or take a nap for one hour, then back to their work. Let's take a lot of time and uh, not uh, good for all people. If, um, especially if they, um, the, in their works, they um, um, make uh, or make a room for that. Uh, a bit, but uh, back to the home and then back to the work, it's not easy. Yes, it's a good point actually. If, if you're going to allow people to, to have this nap in the middle of the day, you maybe need to provide a space for them to do this because, yeah, a lot of people have to travel a long way to get to work. So for them, 
it's it's not going to be helpful if they have two or three hours in the middle of the day or two hours in the middle of the day to to take a nap because maybe for them it that's not enough time to even get home so they just basically waste that time in the middle of their day what does everyone else think do you do you oh sorry keep going sarah no no uh, just thank you What does everyone else think? Do you think it'd be good to have this nap in the middle of the day? Do you think it'd be useful for people? Luca? Uh, yes, thanks. I think uh, it could be useful, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, we, the, the right thing is to, is to leave uh, the freedom of, uh, of choice. Uh, at, uh, to the employers. Uh, I think it could be a, a, good, uh, a, a good way to, to relax for some people, but for other people, for example, like me, I said before, I, I can't relax when I have in, in the workplace because I have a lot of thoughts about what I have to do, what I have to finish, so I can relax when I, when I go to, to, the, to my room or, or a, my, my house, I don't know, but I have to, to see a bed, I have to see a television or my PC and to stay really in, in relax. But uh, for uh, a lot of people could be a, a good way, I think. Yeah, that's true. It's different for different people, maybe. The, the freedom of, the, of choice is... Uh, is the base, I think. Definitely. Artem? I think it would be better if I wouldn't sleep at all. It would be great to be up all the time, not to get tired. It would be great. I think. So no sleep at all in 24 <laughs> hours. Yeah, Stay yeah. awake forever. Yeah, it would be cool. Oh no, it would be it would be you have to be you have to work you have to be at work forever. Oh no, <laughs> better to sleep. Okay. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> Zom. Um, we are focusing on the siesta, but actually I think uh, we should all be allowed to organize our work day as we like, as long as uh, work is going to be done. I think um, the people who are man managing us should be more flexible, not us, but them. So, because if it's organized correctly and we have got a workload for the day or for the week, then whatever we do, once the work is done, it should be up to us. I mean, either sleeping or, or doing other things or going on the internet or whatsoever. So why are they going to decide that you have to sleep or you don't have to sleep or you have to do that uh, so that you are more efficient afterwards? Because I agree with uh, Luca, it depends from one person to the other and we all have different way of uh, relaxing. So maybe Luca is going to, to do all his all work uh, immediately, one, one go, and then with the remaining time, he will be able to relax. For me, it's going to be different. Maybe I will work just for a couple of hours. Then I will need to let my brain to have a rest, just maybe to, to work in the background while I'm doing something else that I like. And it might not be sleeping, it might be anything else. And then uh, resume the work. So I think the flexibility has, has got to come from, from our own managers <laughs> because we will be good in our how we work best. We know if we prefer to work in the morning or more in the afternoon, we know what makes ourselves comf comfortable. And so I think that the problem is that the people who are giving us the work they don't know what they are giving us, actually. They don't, uh, and, 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 and so they turn into control freak. So here is more the problem, in my opinion. <laughs> yes, but I'm 
unfortunately, I still don't think it's so common for people to be able to choose the hours they want to work and what time they start and what time they finish and how they control their time while they're at work. Unfortunately, uh, it's getting more flexible, but I think a lot of places they still don't have so much flexibility to decide all these things by yourself. Um, they, they even think of uh, actually that you will keep working at home because nowadays they are asking you to to get the computer home, to get the phone home, to be able to connect and make sure that you can connect to the company itself and so on. So there is no, no separation really between the work at the home the office and uh and and when you're at home so that's getting tricky yes that's a point as well sometimes this flexibility isn't so flexible and all it means is you end up doing a lot more work at home and there's less separation between home and at work that's definitely a, a problem that comes out of this as well i think luca yes thanks uh I think that uh, a lot of company uh, should have to to think uh, about uh, the possibility that technology is uh, is giving us because uh, uh, 30 or 40 years ago uh, the the dream of a new technology uh, will promise uh, a, a really short work uh, the, the really short work days because with computers, with uh, all that we have, we can really, uh, for some kind of work, you, you, you need uh, three, four hours of your time uh, during, during the day. But uh, anyway, companies want that you go to the office, that you want your physical presence. Because uh, I think there is a, a, an old uh, eradicated idea about work, but we have to disrupt the technology that, uh, that we have. I think th this is uh, the way, uh, the, the, the reason uh, for what we have uh, developed the technology, all uh, that we have, computer, tablet, uh, smartphone, uh, and all uh, that we have. Exactly, yes. All of these things were supposed to make work easier and so we could work less and instead I think they've just meant that we end up working more in a lot of cases unfortunately because we can do a lot more things in less time. So I'm not sure that it worked the way that we predicted it would work unfortunately. Um, Artem? I just uh, came up with ideas about the timing when to when to have uh, uh, 40 wings. I think that uh, people who work in office or some remote place, it would be better to have some kind of transport when you commute to work, when you commute in there, just to stay because the uh, majority of people here around uh, who live around me they can uh, to work around uh, one hour and a half in one direction and back so we can presume that uh, that uh, they sleep they commit about they they the community take about three hours daily so it would be great to sleep during these hours not just to hold in your hands. Isn't it? Yeah, sleeping during your commuting time is good as long as you can find out or figure out some way to make sure that you wake up um, before your stop so you don't end up <laughs> catching the train for an extra hour than you're supposed to be on the train for. So I think that's the only danger about sleeping on, on things like buses and trains on your way home. You need to be able to, to wake up <laughs> on time. Okay. Well, we're almost at the end of the session for today. Did anyone want to add anything else before we finish? Any last ideas, thoughts about siestas, sleeping at work? Yeah, stop work. <laughs> Set us free from work. <laughs>
if you can figure out how to do that and still have, have enough money to eat and <laughs> to do all the fun things, sure. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working Sorry. on it. When I've got the solution, okay. uh, I will share it. <laughs> Great. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy to be a guinea pig when you've got the solution. <laughs> Problem. Okay. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the session today. Remember, there's the... Um, the post is on the forum as well. This topic is on the forum. So if you think of anything else you want to add about this, about siestas, sleeping, uh, sleeping at work, pretending to work when you're not actually, you can always add a comment there on the forum as well, okay? I'll see if I can post the link here after the session just so it's easy for everyone to find. But thank you all very much. Next week we'll be back on Skype again, okay? So next week won't uh, AM, PM won't be on Discord. It will be back on Skype. Okay, so make sure that I think everybody here is in the Skype group anyway, so it should be fine. But just so people don't get lost next week. Okay, thank you all very much and talk to you all again soon. Bye, everyone. Is a siesta a, a normal for for anyone here? Do you have siesta in your country? <laughs> no, no one. <laughs> Saral, is it Saral or is it Sarah? Um, my name is Sarah, but I got uh, uh, L because uh, there is uh, another person. Just by Sarah. Wow, okay, no problem. I'll remember that it's Sarah. Okay. Uh, here in our country, we need to, to take uh, a siesta or not uh, after work. Uh, and especially students, they need that because uh, here it's very hot uh, when you back to your homes. You need to take a nap then. Wake up to study and complete your life. And uh, the day here it's uh, end um, at twelve uh, p.m. Or no, not p.m. a.m. It's uh, a long day. You need to take uh, an hour uh, to complete your days. On day? What do you mean? Okay. What time do you go to bed? Uh, 12 a.m. or maybe 1 a.m. Our day is long. Uh, what? Our budget for special arms is just uh, more efficient, I think. And uh, what else I remember is that uh, Average amount of hours uh, that people sleep it's about seven seven o'clock in uh, Spain and USA. I got this uh, recent survey. What else? What else? But average. <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else? That's <laughs> good. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, great. Who else can add um, anything else to what Adam said? Any other details that you remember? Anything else that was interesting? Are you talking to me? I'm talking to everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Would you like to answer the question? Was there something interesting that you remember from the article? Um. 
If not, no problem. Luca, would you like to add something? Yes, just uh, one little, but I, I don't remember, I don't remember uh, if uh, who, who was that, uh, that spoke. Okay, but anyway, uh, Spanish spend a lot uh, more time than uh, any other uh, in uh, European countries on the work. Uh, and uh, another detail important for me because I'm uh, I'm Italian is that uh, the term siesta uh, is as an, an origin by, by <laughs> copyright. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly copyright. Yes, as a, an Italian origin. I didn't know this, uh, but is is curious. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Actually, that's an interesting question for everyone. Did anyone know or had anyone heard before that um, the siesta actually comes from Italy and not from Spain? Not really, actually. I didn't know where it came from. I associate siesta all the time with uh, countries in the south where it's hot. So I know that it's, for me it was a Spanish word, and but I don't link siesta to Spanish country to Spain only. Actually, for me the siesta is in south of France, Spain, Italy, Greece, everywhere where where it's hot between in in the early early afternoon, midday and uh, and three p.m. Okay, so. Does anyone here have a siesta, like as a normal thing, or you know, nearly everyone, I oh, think. No, 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 no. Hey. Oh, hello, mate. How are you? Okay, great. I think, I think most people, I think we're missing Shiny still. That's the only name that I... Remember seeing was here, who's not quite here yet. But I think nearly everyone else is here. Great. Okay, let's get started then. Um, just as a reminder for everyone, if you want to take another look at the article that we were having a look at on Tuesday, the article is still pinned in the LEN members group. So if you click on the pen at the uh, pen the pin at the top of the the text channel for LEN members you should be able to see the the article it should still be there okay okay so today we're going to be talking more about the article we read in the last session which was talking about the Spanish siesta but who'd like to tell us all a little bit about what that article was talking about maybe some of the things that you remember from it Atom, go ahead. So we was reading about the siesta is just a short nap, uh, which uh, workers uh, take during the working day. It's uh, usually between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. It depends on uh, of season of, uh, of season is it uh, winter or it's summer if it's uh, winter uh, this is yes there's uh, 30 wings people take uh, early if it's uh, uh, winter they take it a little bit later so this uh, whole article has been uh, devoted to this uh, is it useful for, for people or not and uh, we, did, we read and discussed about it, and uh, some uh, some people who uh, uh, there has been made a few surveys uh, 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 to know is it useful or not. It helps people to refresh their uh, ability to uh, proceed to work, and uh, few. Even a few programmers have written a few, a few apps to, to make sure, for example, if a person goes to sleep, 
of uh, average uh, amount of time to recover physical ability is about uh, eight of eight hours and uh, and this special apps will record uh, and scan your body for example is uh, uh, have you did you recover or not uh, are you ready to to get start to work again or not if you are not you will keep sleep or you can uh, set the special time how much no, it's just usual 